recording on. So good evening and welcome to this webinar, which is first in this year. Intention is to have at least 15, if not every week, I'm saying alternate week, perhaps either of this type or, or of other type. I had attempted to start another activity called The Great Debate, kind of my talk show. We did about six, seven episodes. And after that, I got busy that I wasn't able to follow up with people to invite speakers. I hope, I guess, I wish that I'll be able to start that again. So it'll be a mix of either this or that great debate coming back once again. This time I'm speaking, but I'm looking forward to people, experts who would like to share their ideas. So today I thought of talking about net promoter score, which was a new term, new concept for me about two months ago. I learned about it. I liked and I thought that let's, let's talk about it. It'll be a very simple discussion today because the topic itself is very simple according to me, but very effective, I found. So we'll talk about what, why and how of NPS quickly. More than that, I'll say, because that's very small concept, so simple. Interesting, interesting cases that I said I'll be willing to showcase and then maybe some discussions around that and quick discussions. So quickly about myself, 37 years in the industry, 17 years in resilience. In the past, it was BCM. Then we started mixing BCM risk crisis. That's what I knew. In recent years, couple of years, organizational resilience. Last one year, operational resilience also. And have started dirtying my hands with cybersecurity also recently. That's all that I know, trainer, consultant, certified. Done played some senior roles also up to VP, CEO, COO, board member, practice ad, program director, etc. Have written four books. Quickly to share with you all my score of last year or last two years, little comparison here. The orange bar is 2022, blue bar is 2021. All these are pro bono activities, so non-commercial. I don't make money out of these, or I didn't make money out of these activities, and these would continue in this way. While we see 22, some decline also, but some bars increasing, and overall the number is about 20% extra in 22 compared to 21. I hope that I'm able to keep up with this pace in 23 also. As a first question for you all, how likely you are to recommend my free webinars to someone else? On a scale of one to 10, one is least likely, 10 is extremely likely or most likely. So through your desktop, laptop or phone, whichever way you have logged in, you can go to slido.com and enter this event number or I can paste this URL in the chat as well. So I'm clicking the same link, just as a sample. I myself, my personal response is I'm saying 10, extremely likely. I request you also to do that, please. I hope I will be able to share the results also with you all immediately. Let me attempt that as well. I hope you can see that, right? Someone please keep saying yes, no. Yes, sir. Great. 
I'll wait for a few more seconds while there are only three, four people, I believe. I'm just assuming all have responded, but whoever has responded, the number is 75% saying 10 and 9, sorry, 25% saying 9. And again, give me a few seconds to do some magic and come back to you with that magic that I attempted to do. So because there are only few people here and because of the response we see, 75% saying 10, 25% saying 9, a score with some calculation logic comes out to be 100 for me. And this is what my NPS score is, net promoter score. Sharing my screen once again, and then we'll continue discussions based on that. Slides. So I'm repeating. Quickly, it, be, it may be as fast as few seconds, but can take minutes, hours. We may have to run the survey for number of days, etc. also, because we are increasing the volume, audience, we expect more responses. And then immediately we can calculate this. Number for me came out to be 100. I'm repeating that portion. Just keep this in mind as of now. So what is NPS? The, the concept is net promoter score. It is as simple as that. We can say the word of mouth publicity or promotion or marketing. If I use, for example, currently I'm using, actually I'm using Lenovo laptop. When I purchased about two years ago, this is just two years old. I was happy with this configuration. Make, etc. look, everything performance services. At that time, I would have recommended this Highly, but it seems battery went bad within one year. It seems the life of the batteries one year. I followed up a lot with them, and today I'm unhappy and I wouldn't give that high rating, or perhaps I wouldn't recommend Lenovo to anyone. And this is word of mouth publicity, and this is what this concept is. Ask your people, it may be internal or it may be external customers. As of now, I'm focusing more on external customers. So this is what the concept is. If you want to know how loyal your customers are, if you are curious to learn, if your patients recommend you to others, so this may be a hospital, it may be a clinic, looking to make sure your clients are happy. It is said, and I'll also say that, and this is why I thought of talking about it, that this perhaps is the simplest tool to look at customer satisfaction. We all might have seen in our organizations, we would have run for our customers and we are customers for so many other organizations. Those might have run some surveys with us. A telecom operator perhaps, especially with after each complaint, when that complaint is resolved, there's a quick survey done to look at customer satisfaction. This, it seems to me, the only survey that has only one question in it. And that's what one of the benefits or that's one of the differentiators or strengths of this concept of, or this tool or this survey is. Simple, easy, immediate kind of that thing. And we'll talk about that a little later once again. That ultimate question, as I asked, how likely are you, you are, to recommend my free webinars to someone else? That's the only one question to be asked. So this is highly regarded loyalty metric, customer loyalty as of now we are saying, that companies use to collect the customer feedback they need to inform their business strategy. And then we'll come to why also. As of now, we are discussing the what of NPS. It's seen by as many as better indicator of customer loyalty than traditional customer satisfaction surveys we might have seen sometimes 
10, 15, 20 questions also. And sometimes it might have been mixed with some other survey, long survey, once a year survey, in which perhaps we would have kept 50, 60, 100 questions also collectively. The concept came in 2003 from Bain and Company. They hold the copyright on this. Actually, one of their partner called Fred, he created a new way of measuring how well an organization treats its, its people. So people are internal customers, so internal and external customers, whose lives it affects. So an organization affects employees' lives as well as the customers. And if you look at some of the ISO standards in recent times, in last, I think, decades or so, we have started using a term called interested parties. We don't call stakeholders anymore interested parties. So our employees are our interested parties, as well as our customers are our interested parties. And there are many more. Someday we can talk about all that as well. So coming to why. What are the benefits? What, why should we use NPS tool or mechanism? And there are six to say, linkage to financial outcomes, simplicity, ease of use. Some of these I have already said within my own ways, but I'll read kind of text from Bain and Company also for you all. Quick follow-up, growing body of experience and adaptability. At this time, I would like to read some text. So I have come back without the slides. There were six benefits, if you look, remember that, recollect that. Linkage to financial outcomes. In Bain's research, they found no better metric when correlated with financial outcomes like customer lifetime value or revenue growth. So direct, direct link with that, because we are saying this is word of mouth publicity. You will tell someone to use Colgate toothpaste for example, or Lenovo or HP laptop or desktop for example. Second point was simplicity. Net promoter surveys typically require only two or three questions. One question in the simplest version. Why do we need second, third? We'll touch upon that also later. Keeping the burden on the customer low. This is very good point. Moreover, the key likelihood to recommend question is scored on a simple 0 to 10 scale. This is what I had requested you to do. First question. There are no complex indices or correlation coefficients. The net promoter score is a single number that can be tracked from week to week and month to month, just like net profit. And this is where it gets thing with the first point also when we were talking about that it's close to the financials of the company. Can be tracked week to week. I wouldn't mind to say perhaps minutes to minutes. As with net profit, a company's net promoter scores can be broken down like geography-wise, country-wise, unit-wise, city-wise. Third point was ease of use. We have seen that practically a company can conduct its net promoter surveys easily. And there are so many people. Actually, I can do for anyone today. I'm so confident I can do it for anyone. It can compile and post scores quickly, providing up to the minute scores and verbatim comments to employees and managers so that they can see the results of their performance in a timely fashion. Fourth point said quick follow up. Thanks to the ease of use and high velocity of feedback. So I'm just reading this text from Bain's company directly. NPS practitioners can quickly follow up with their customers after feedback is received to ensure they close the loop. This is where I actually am linking this with the resilience of organization also. And this is why my interest in this topic an interest in delivering this talk. I have been saying, some of you might have seen those videos, I have been posting video messages, that any company 
that doesn't take care of its customers, internal, who are employees, as well as external. And in these talks so far, I've focused on external customers. Any company that doesn't take care of its customer, that is not customer friendly, is not a resilient company, according to me. And we might have seen this. It has happened to all of us in our personal space. And perhaps we have been doing this in our official space to our customers also, not closing the loop. Someone says, Daman, are you happy? I say, no, I'm not happy. There's no further action, reaction, interaction after that. What happened? And I'm, actually for Ada, I have said, they keep closing your complaints also. Just the message after a few days, few weeks, your complaint has been closed or has been resolved by no action has been taken according to you, according to me, according to us, I mean to say. So closing the loop is very important to be a resilient organization. And this tool helps us to this, do this quickly because the results are also available quickly. Fifth point was a growing body, body of experience. So many companies, it says thousands of companies in different industries have begun to measure their net promoter score over the past decade. So it's just about 17, 15 years old concept. Because the formula is same, concept is same, no customization is required. Anyone can start using it immediately. So I would still be surprised if the number is still thousands of companies. To me, it was just two months ago I came to know about this concept. So I don't know how many people, how many companies know and how many companies have been using it. Well, it can be used according to me by all. all. Uh, last point was adaptability. As an open source method, no high price vendors or black box, black box statisticians required. NPS can easily be put to work in a wide variety of business settings. Apple, for example, uses it in its retail stores. So this is what these six points were. And I said, I'll just read it from the Baines and Company directly. Let me start sharing the screen again, slides again, and then we'll talk a lot more about this. I hope you can see my screen again, right? Running it, how portion, so what, why, and how, why is the benefits, and how we just did one with you all, I did one. So it's as simple as that, I'll say. This is more interesting according to me, and this is what I said, interesting points. Who was, any guesses, and you can unmute and speak. We do not have many people. Who was number one in, one in 2022 on NPS score, net promoter score? Any guesses? Anyone can unmute and speak. Even if you don't know, it's a guess. Question is guess. Yes, please. Microsoft. Good. Anyone else? I don't even know this name. Princeton Mortgage, somewhere in the world. Score is 98, which is unbelievable. According to the concept in this concept, 98 is unbelievable, but they have scored. And again, I'm saying by one list that was available to me. I wouldn't make big claims around the authenticity. As of now, we are just taking it as learning for ourselves. Number two, number one was not Microsoft. Any guess for number two and the score? Anyone? Maybe some American bank, I don't know. I'm just, I can just <laughs> refer to a company which is technical. Yes, yes, we can, it's a guess on the end. Good, say the name, we'll see whether it's coming up or not. Maybe Apple? Great. Thank you very much. Apple is somewhere in the list for sure. I know because I have seen this earlier, but the answer is not Apple for this one. It's Tesla with 97, which again is unbelievable. And we would, I do not even know when this survey was run. Today with whatever has been happening with Elon Musk, perhaps, perhaps I'm saying this score could vary. Most likely going down, I mean to say, because there are only three points to go above 97. 
Let's look at some other known names. This list is top 100, 2022, 99 actually. So I picked up only a few, I'm not showing all 100. Amazon could have come to mind and they scored 73. So from 98, 97, number three is Amazon, 70. Okay, I wouldn't say number three, but I'm saying Amazon is scoring some 73 because I have not picked up the real numbers here. Zoom. So as I said, some known names, otherwise there were some names, even the number one was not known to me at least. At 72, so far all these are very, very high scores in this scale. Flipkart, which is an India company, at 70. Netflix, 67. PayPal, 65. Any surprises so far? I'll stop for a few seconds. Any surprises so far? Surprise is Netflix, the first Indian company I can see the name there. Right. Okay. And again, you know, we wouldn't know which all companies were taken into consideration in this survey. Right. So some other company perhaps could have scored much better. Even in the Indian company, perhaps could have scored better. We will keep all this in our mind. PayPal at 65. So, Amit, Apple, score. Because I have been going good. downwards, so it has to be less than 65, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At 61. So, this would be surprise also. Even I would be surprised. Right? While 61 still is very, very high score. So, when I have said a couple of times very, very high, on, in this concept, a score of 30 to 40 is very good, is considered to be very good. Google, 58. So otherwise, much better than the 30, 40. This is, if 30, 40 is good, this is excellent, great. But looking at Tesla, etc., the top one, two names, 58 is quite low. Dropbox, 54. Harley Davidson. I wish my friend from EY, Vinay, was here. He's a biking expert or it's his hobby, etc. He would have liked to know this. 52. I can say only just in comparison to the toppers. Otherwise, 52 is excellent. Disney, 50. So this is halfway mark. Boy, 49. Samsung. 47, again, whether this is Samsung India, Samsung Korea, Samsung Global, not clear to us as of now. Walmart at 40. So this is, we have reached that good position, good number. 30 to 40 score is considered to be good. VMware at 39. Adidas, 39. Coca-Cola. Again, I don't know whether Coca-Cola exists as a company, a company name, but in the survey, Coca-Cola was available. So at 39. Uh, okay, a quick question then. Your preferred drink? Without having looked at the score. Anyone? None. None. Uh, I don't drink. <laughs> I didn't ask what. I just said drink. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> But my 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 preferred is coffee. Coffee? Okay. Yeah. And then we perhaps need to look into which coffee? Mercedes Benz coming at 39. Airbnb 38. Cisco 38. DHL 36. Nike 36. Next question. Guess how low will this go? What do you think? How low could this go? Will this go? It can go to zero. Uh, zero. <laughs> Good <laughs> guess. Okay. Well, let's continue. Adobe at 33. HP 28. IBM 27. So these now are going below that good level. Right. So which means it's still perhaps average. It's not bad yet, I would say. Oracle, 25. 
I would start considering anything below 25 to be bad now. Dell at 24. Lenovo, <laughs> the laptop that I was talking about, 23. If they asked me a question, perhaps they wouldn't even score 23 today. So I was not part of that survey for sure. LinkedIn, 21. This is surprising to me. To me personally, I would say, because I've been using LinkedIn a lot. I, I write on LinkedIn almost every day. But we wouldn't know whether this is external customer or internal customer or a mix. As of now, just one number, because this is first time we have touched upon this concept. So we are taking that as a good input. LinkedIn S21. Now, again, I do not know whether General Electric exists, but as the name came, at 20 and it would be surprising to me if it's G. So this is where Coca-Cola Paris would be happy, would be happy, Pepsi at 20. Coca-Cola Paris were about double of that and they were in good range. And this is how this benchmarking can be used when we create a list and we can do the benchmarking as Vodafone at 10. Uh, my best friend Airtel, I was talking about that also, doesn't even exist in this list for X, Y, Z reasons, whether they didn't participate or they didn't score. All right. We are touching a zero soon, Amit. Vodafone at 10, I'm not sure how, why they would score even 10 if it was Airtel, perhaps not even 10, according to me. You let a zero. So you were right. Seems to be stopping here. McDonald's goes to minus eight, so it's not zero. The worst can be minus 100 also in this scale. So maximum best possible is 100. Minimum worst possible is minus 100 also. In this list, we went up to minus 28, I guess. BMW at minus 21, surprising to me again. Lowest in this list, minus 28. I did this after knowing this for a very small unit. We are just 650 members in Computer Society chapter of IEEE Delhi section. I'm the chair also currently. We ran this for ourselves also. A very small sample out of which I'm admitting out of 650, 600 plus members, only 21 responded. So it's bad. But first time, at least one number is available to us and we are drawing drawing improvements. We scored 48, which is above average. It's excellent score. As of now, <clears throat> no benchmarking available. So next point will be then why should we do, even if it's simple, easy, immediate, just one question, why should we do this? We got a number. Then what? We can attempt to improve as simple as that. We can look at our competitors also. We can look at our industry. We can look at outside industry, the best, if you look at 98 or 97. So we would attempt to, or we can attempt to draft those plans to improve our customer satisfaction. This is a customer satisfaction scheme tool, according to me. And this is why, when I had said that there may be a need to ask second, third question, either in the same survey or after the survey. So for example, computer society chapter, I asked only one question. Once we have known calculated our score, now next step is we will talk to our members. So what do we do to make you happier, right? So that's why maybe extra questions, otherwise simplest one question also is good. At this time, I would like to request you to respond once again. Same question. With three people, we were all the 100. There is a possibility of going down, not going possible, possibility of going up. But let's still see if there is any variation. So I'll again type in this. Sorry. <clears throat> URL for you in the chat box and request you to go and type in, please. 
and this time this is the URL or you can go to slido.com and I'll share my slide in a second. I hope you have responded in between. I hope you can see my screen again. Yeah. And the Explorer as well. Yeah, yeah. Great. My response. And let me see if results are available to us and if there is any variation. Hundred percent. So there is some variation, but score will still remain hundred. Right. Thank you very much. I hope you are able to see my screen again. So it attempt was if there were many people, more people, initial score would have been different, and the final score also would have been different. But quickly, what attempt was to see that it is so quick, it can be so quick. The next question I'm asking is freely. It's the no, no, no survey, no question to be responded to. Were these discussions useful? And you can unmute and you can say three options, A, B, C, yes. And I would like to participate in future too or no. Any responses, all responses are welcome. Yes, B. Thank you very much. Nitin. And Omid, was, yes, B. Thank, thanks. Uh, the question was not, I would like to attend in future too. Question was, like to participate. Participate means I'm looking at people speaking also. So your experiences and topic, topic can be any topic of your choice. Or if that great debate, I select some topic and topics can also come as suggestions. I look forward to you all as experts to come and speak. People are looking forward to knowing. I keep saying learning and sharing is forever. No one is perfect. I am myself a lifelong learner. So when you will be talking, I will be looking forward to learning some points from you all. It's very easy to find me anyway, whichever way, please stay in touch. I'm very active on, on LinkedIn, as I said, almost every day there is there's some post. And currently my focus is resilience, organizational resilience, operational resilience, we can say. And currently what I'm saying is customer care, any company that is not taking care of customers or is not customer friendly is not a resilient company or resilient organization. And this NPS, I also I linked with that, that it helps us to calculate or measure our customer satisfaction. So it is linked with resilience, according to me. With this, I'll stop here. If there are any questions, we have time and we can have some questions. Um, you may like to switch on the cameras. I would like to take a picture also. Picture here, Pele Bolte. I would have put up my shirt. Uh, anyway, let me let me start my camera. We can wait. Sitting for, there. We can wait for a couple of minutes. No, 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 not that bad also. But I was in a kurta and pajama. So, uh, so what? I, so what? That's that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, uh, Amit will wait for you and Manjula if you can switch on camera before I take the picture. Can I close my camera because uh, just few seconds? Uh, yeah. Are you okay, uh, okay for picture or no? No, I'm okay. What else I can you know? uh, just hold on this? Yeah. So give me your best smiles, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. And if there are any questions or suggestions, also we can have some discussions. Yeah. 
I have a question actually. Uh, ah, so right. let other people uh, you let you take your photographs. So done, done. Picture done. Yeah, picture done. Okay. Yeah. Picture done. Just listen. I think you can go ahead with your question first. Oh yeah, I got time. Anyway, so um, so my question was that uh, what all questions are asked because uh, if you ask me. For example, let's take a simple example of BMW. Right. I could see negative score is another question I'll ask. That's something very different. But as a product, if I if you ask me, uh, I will say would say I will give you a very good scale, right? Right. But the cost of maintenance, perhaps I'll say total no no, right? Right. <laughs> so okay. when we um, <clears throat> yes yes you got point. Yeah, and so when they had that rating of BMW, then what was the questions asked? So you know that that becomes a that that becomes one question actually because you know yes uh -huh. so that is my question yeah uh, so i agree that there are some ifs and buts as of now uh, i'm admitting for me also just two months old concept i just got hold of this list this may not be very authentic list there may be other lists also question generally by concept there is only one question that limit question because it's kind mm -hmm. of word of mouth so will you recommend me to others? Will you recommend my product to others? If I'm a bank, will you recommend me this bank to some, some other people? So similarly, so if I come, please do not mind. You said Masri's example. I also said we would be, perhaps all of us would be surprised at their current score in this list, right? <clears throat> to calculate, there's only one question, only one question to calculate the score. Additional okay. questions may be asked to improve upon that. So if, for example, you're not telling me your score, but within the survey, second question is, whatever you have rated, why have you rated? We see the such mm -hmm. surveys also, right? If you go give low rating, please, if you feel free, comfortable, please write also, why have you given me low rating? Or if you go give me high rating, what did you like in my service or my product? Write that also. So these will be additional questions which will help us to improve upon what was missing. We could do better in, in future. Mercedes, you said generally brand you would recommend, but looking at the maintenance, perhaps you wouldn't recommend. Right. right. Um, do you own Mercedes? Have you experienced Mercedes? No, I had full dream, but for this season only, I have not <laughs> bought one. So I wish but your I dream is fulfilled one. soon. <laughs> <laughs> and that time, so most likely, this is, you're not a Mercedes customer yet. You have yeah. some opinion about Mercedes that as a product, as a brand, you would recommend. But looking at maintenance, you may not recommend. Yeah, that's Once you have actually. used this product, you become customer. Perhaps, perhaps I'm saying that customers have not been happy even with the product. That's yeah. why this rating might have come. Leave aside maintenance. For you and me, perhaps maintenance would be could be a challenge. As of now, we don't know about Amit, Manjula, Mohan who are on on in the session. For them, it may not be a challenge at all, <laughs> right? So they might have purchased or they may purchase soon Mercedes, and then they may make some judgments like that. So no one in this survey, perhaps from Mercedes, would come to me because I'm not a customer yet. I may have some opinions. But your observation is right. I go with that observation. Because if we see the reverse of this case, for example, we go in for Maruti uh, Wagoner. Yes. So cost of ownership, excellent. Right. Uh, maintenance, excellent. Right. But safety is still no. Yes. Right. But if I ask three questions, my rating will be very different. If I ask one question, my rating will be very different. All right. right. That's right. what the whole basic concept was. That cool. how do... I, I agree. So, so this concept, yeah. when whenever whoever created the Bain, Bain and Company, they kept it simple. Only one question to be asked. Yes. Okay. So may, so then it may be uh, something like uh, Maruti maintenance, one question, separate exactly. survey, Maruti exactly. product. See, yeah. so I have been a Maruti customer, Maruti Suzuki customer, right? now Suzuki India customer. And I started with my Ganar. And it was the first model. People said it's it's a box, it's a truck, right? It's not a car. No one was liking it. But I just went for the shape. 
Mm. I recently, about three months ago, I purchased this Citroen C3. And again, I went just for the shape and look of the car. People are asking me, Sudhaman, how is the performance? My response for last 10, 15 years about cars has been, or it will be for any product. A 5 lakh rupees product of any company, performance will be same. Has to be same because it's new technology. Everyone is making new car. 10 lakh has to be same. 20 lakh has to be same. So this is about 10 lakh, the highest version C3 uh, turbo model that I purchased. But it's a costly car according to me. Mm -hmm. At 10 lakh, it's not automatic version. They have not come with automatic version yet. And there are some other features mm -hmm. also missing. Today in India, at at 5 lakh, actually, you may start getting automatic cars. This mm -hmm. is a 10 lakh and it's not automatic. And there are some other features which are missing according to me in this one. So it's a costly car. But when I was purchasing, I didn't look for the cost. I just look for the look of the car. And as I've given some video messages for Airtel, Max Hospital, Gillette, I'm going to write about Citroen also. And again, I would say it's not customer caring company, so it's not a resilient company. <laughs> but these are my views based on my experiences. Yeah. Not necessarily everyone had that experience. Well, th thanks. We continued that, but with a little longer. Anyone else with any input, suggestions, questions? We see Jocelyn also now. Safe. Perhaps people are dressing up. Huh? <laughs> I can understand. And again, you, me, both are in NCR. Amit also is in Delhi. He said Manjula, you know, is, I think Manjula is in, in Chennai or in Bangalore. So towards south, it may be a bit warmer there. Delhi has been shivering. So perhaps people are enjoying the <laughs> evening with family also. It's Sunday evening. So if no more questions, suggestions, inputs coming up. I'm happy to stop here. Thanks to you all once again, sparing time. And I'm repeating, I'm looking forward to you all coming with your experience also. If you would like to talk, I'll be happy to arrange this platform. And second platform, which is easily available to me, is IEEE platform also. Where every Saturday, we conduct a webinar. This is, uh, we started that series during COVID-19 pandemic, and we have continued. Rarely we have missed any. So, for example, this month, next two weeks, perhaps we have left. Taking it easy. New Year is just, just starting. Otherwise, there's rarely a miss. Six to seven every Saturday. That is IEEE platform. I can arrange that also. Where minimum 100 participants are kind of guaranteed. We have touched thousands also in some of the webinars. 400, 500, 200 participants. And that is mainly IEEE members, but it goes to many societies and many people, mostly from India, not only Delhi, I'm saying not NCR from across India, some people from other countries also join. So please let me know almost any topic, even on IEEE platform, it can be a non-technical topic as well, or topic of current affairs, as we say, or topic of current general interest for the public. Just let me know, please. This platform or IEEE platforms, I can arrange at two places. Your talk, if you would like to share your experience. I'm looking forward to, and I know people are looking forward to, know from those who are expert in their areas. We'll talk. With this, we'll talk about it. Thank you very much. Once again, enjoy the rest of the evening, rest of the day. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you again. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.